Welcome back, Adventures with Dr. Joe. This is my Kubota tractor, it's an L6060, and it has an, a, a fuel water separator. Most tractors do. I fill this with five gallon cans that unfortunately can get some condensation in them, so can the fuel tank in your tractor. And if it gets condensation, that water goes into the fuel and gets separated in the water separator before it reaches the engine, which can stall it out and damage the engine. Every once in a while we need to look at this and check it. There's a level in there and when the float gets to that certain level we need to empty it, clean it out, and reinstall it. Let's do that. So here's a close-up of that water separator. And it has a lever which, is, which allows the fuel to turn on and off. The first thing we're going to do is turn that off. Then we're going to release that circular nut at the top and, and drop the um, cylinder down empty it and clean it up. First thing we'll do is we'll shut off the fuel to this which is this lever here. Okay now I've shut it off. I've got my Knipex wrench around here loosening that. There once I get it loose I can take it off by hand There it is. So this is the oil water separator bowl. And you can see the line here. And inside of it is a spring. And we're just going to drain this properly here. It's a spring in this float that is filthy as can be. This is the float clean that all up. Boy there was a bunch of crud in there. So now we've got the, the bowl here. Here's the float. Goes in. The O-ring looks good. We'll put the spring in and then we'll, we'll put this back together. So this is the filter and it's got a bunch of junk on it. I don't know what this nasty stuff is but we're going to clean it out. I'm going to run this through the ultrasonic cleaner with some turpentine heated. Let's do that. So this is my ultrasonic cleaner. Turn it on. Going to add some water. And some turpentine in here. Alright, so we've got the filter. We'll put the filter in. And we'll just start running our ultrasound. I'm going to clean up the spring and also the float as well. You can see the ultrasound working. Look at all the crud coming out of that filter. Ah, it's cleaned the spring up already. This is going to be beautifully clean when we're all done with this. So we're cleaning the fuel water separator. There's the filter. Here's the float. Here's the, the, the cup that it fits in. And down here somewhere, yeah, there's the ring that holds it in. That's beautiful. It's heating it up too because I put water in there that was really cold. And now it's already got it up to 30 degrees, headed to 50. Turn the heater off. Turn the ultrasound off. Ooh, it's hot. Okay, this cup had uh, kind of a lot of uh, brown discoloration, so I got some isopropyl alcohol here, cleaned it all out, got rid of all that. 
Mm, looks a lot better now. All right, so the first thing we're going to put the filter back on, which has an O-ring. Hold that there. Then use the Knipex. Tighten it. And then open the fuel back. And that's it. So that's how to change the water separator on this Kubota tractor. If you like this video, please click like if it was helpful. Please con consider commenting and subscribing. And again, thank you for watching.